I was Ravenous Hunter removed. As an AP Assassin mid player, I miss it. And Corruption Potions, why Corruption Potion? Well, Corrupting Potion got removed because we don't like it. Like, basically, we nerfed Corrupting Potion to being useless. And then players were like, this is useless. You should buff this. And we were like, well, we don't want to. And so we removed it. Specifically, what I mean by that is, like, we didn't like what Corrupting Potion did to the game. And so instead of keeping it, we removed it. We just didn't think, like, it should be a viable strategy to take a potion that gives you lots of health and uh, mana and, like, be th that be something you can win your lane with. We thought that was incorrect to offer as a viable strategy, so we removed it. Um, Ravenous Hunter. Um, the spicy take on Ravenous Hunter is, like, I personally liked Ravenous Hunter, personally. This doesn't mean everybody agrees with this. I liked Ravenous Hunter. I thought it was good. Um, I think it was, like, actually pretty reasonable to have in the rune system some small amount of sustain for mages. Ravenous Hunter needed to be removed because we changed it to Omnivamp. And Omnivamp was OP on 80 carries for sustain, especially when combined with the other rune, Bloodline. And so when we did the, like this SRI update, uh, the, um, the, the Mythic item update, and we changed all the things, we were faced with um, a massive influx of too much sustain for a variety of reasons. Um, the runes gave too much sustain because you could combine Ravenous Hunter with um, Bloodline. Um, all the mythic items gave sustain. Uh, we buffed Grievous Wounds, which counterintuitively meant sustain was stronger. And you're like, what are you talking about? That doesn't make any sense. If Grievous Wounds is omnipresent and higher percent, it means that sustain has to be stronger to account for it. And so there's this all thing. But basically the end result of like a lot of the mythic item system was there was too much sustain. And one of the things we did with Ravenous Hunter is we made it Omnivamp, and that made it broken because you could get it on auto attacks and not just spells. So personal take is I liked Ravenous Hunter, and I personally think it was good when it was your spells heal you. Um, but it did need to be removed when we changed it to Omnivamp because Omnivamp was just too much sustain in the system. So yeah, but I don't know. I always I always thought, thought actually like Ravenous Hunter it was required on mages. So it was kind of a thing where it's if you were a mage and Ravenous Hunter was in the game, you kind of had to take it, which is a little rough. That might have been bad. But I do think that like giving some mages like some small degree of vamp and versatility um, through the rune system actually made sense given that there's like not really any vamp options in the item system. Like I think that kind of thing, as an example, probably makes Gwen and Kale and stuff easier to balance. It probably makes like a lot of the mid lane assassins easier to balance. So yeah, I'm generally... Generally was a fan of the very old Ravenous Hunter.